Eski Bakan'ın e, Sokoto Sultan'ın ve çok değerli misafirler ve Türkiye Cumhuriyeti Büyükelçim Sevgili mezunlar, fedakar anne ve babalar, değerli hocalarım ve kıymetli misafirler Hepinize Nijerya Türk Nil Üniversitesi adına hoş geldiniz diyor ve sizleri saygıyla selamlıyorum. Representing the President of Nigeria, His Excellency Mr. Goodluck Jonathan, the Federal Minister of Education, Her Excellency Mrs. Rukayatu, His Eminence Sultan of Sokoto, distinguished members of High Table and all protocol observed. Ambassador of Turkey to Nigeria, His Excellency Mr. Mustafa Plot. Dear graduates, noble parents, distinguished professors and lecturers, and precious guests, you are highly welcome, and I greet you on behalf of Nile University. Welcome. Nil Üniversitemizin ilk mezunlarının uğurlandığı bu anlamlı törene katılmaktan duyduğum memnuniyeti ifade etmek isterim. I would like to say how elated I am to be here in this meaningful convocation of the first graduates of the university. Güzelim hayallerin gerçeğe dönüştürüldüğü, kendine en parlak istikballerin inşasına adamış Nijerya'mızın Nili bu güzide üniversitenin ilk mezunları olan kıymetli öğrencilerimiz üniversitemizin tarihinde eşsiz bir konuma sahip oluyorlar bugün. Today the first individuals of the unique University of Nigeria who are ready to devote themselves to the bright futures are taking their pioneering historical place in the history of the Nile University. On behalf of the chairman, Bekir Dikko, Musa Hadiza, Oniyangi Bilamin Bolaji, Hadiza Soko Abdullahi, Supreme Minister of Education, Professor Rukaya to Abed Rufai OON, for the presentation of prizes. <laughs> We're therefore very appreciative to the school. My husband and I were contemplating sending our son to a private university where qualitative education and avoidable delay in year of graduation will be guaranteed. We were conducting our elimination process when my husband came across an advertisement in a newspaper on a new university in the FCT called the Nigerian Turkish Nile University. We believed that if NTIC was involved in the management, then it is, it is serious. This is due to our impression of the contributions of NTIC in the development of education at lower levels in the country. A humble and most quiet statesman and a great man of the people. And as they say in the army, a great officer and a gentleman the Sultan of Sokoto, Sokoto State. He attended Sultan World Primary School, Sokoto. Presentation now from the Nigerian Turkish Nile University. To the man of peace, the 28th Sultan of Sokoto, head of society for the victory of Islam, GNI, President General, Nigerian Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, His Eminence, Raji Muhammad Saad Abubakar CFA, MNI. So My most distinguished brothers and sisters, most notably 
the Honorable Minister for Education, representing President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. In this context, I feel greatly saddened when I read on the pages of newspapers that Nigeria has the largest number of out-of-school children in the world. Nigeria and Nigerians have had no business with illiteracy in its glorious history. We cannot allow ourselves to be characterized by it now. The integrity and development of our society is contingent on the seriousness with which we pursue education of our children. Whenever we take this responsibility lightly, we jeopardize not only their livelihood, but the future of the entire nation. I would like to send an urgent appeal to the federal and state governments to begin to address this crisis with all the seriousness that it deserves. I'm equally confident that with the presence of our daughter, the Honorable Minister of Education, this task shall be, be accomplished within the shortest possible time. I pledge my personal support and the support of our traditional and religious institutions to address this challenge. But it must be stated that no nation can develop and prosper when hate and violence become the primary means of communication between citizenry. By your individual and collective efforts, you are building the university into a center of academic excellence that Nigeria and the rest of humanity will be proud. I commend you for preparing these young men and women for the honor they are receiving today. You have done exceedingly well and the challenges of the future will require even greater work and dedication. For you, our young graduates, every student who begins an academic journey looks forward to this day of achievement and glory. I congratulate you all on your success and also congratulate your families and friends who share in your proud achievements. There is no better evidence that the path to success is paved with diligence and discipline than the degrees and prizes your hard work have earned you today. This has been a really wonderful experience. I met a lot of people and people from different backgrounds and cultures and I learned how to live with people more. We got to interact a lot with the, both the Turks and the other Nigerians from different nationalities and tribes. So I'll say it has broadened my horizon on a lot of things and it's been good. The world out there is scary and I'm still not sure I'm ready to go in the world to get myself there. But Nigerian Turkish United University or my university has prepared me for that and it's challenging but still I'll be there and I'll try my best and but uh, more than that I think the institution has really come to stay you know I'm impressed with everything they're doing in terms of trying to striving to provide uh, qualitative education and even infrastructure everything is so impressive so I'm really I'm extremely proud of the school and the achievement so they bring up their caps, and at the count of one, two, and three, they throw their caps into the air. One, two, three. Congratulations to you. I hope you can locate the cap now. 